Hi, this is Brett Sackett and JJ Plank with Pasco Scientific. We're here today to tell you about the Pasco Wireless Smart Cart. JJ, let's have a look at this. All right. All right, so the Smart Cart comes with some accessories. We'll talk about those in a little bit. Let's talk about features of the Smart Cart. So the Smart Cart is wireless, it has internal sensors. So the sensors are an encoder on the wheels that's gonna give us position, velocity, and acceleration. And you can use those measurements on a track or off a track. There's also a force sensor on the front of the cart here. So it's a plus or minus 100 Newton load cell. There's an internal accelerometer. It's a three axis accelerometer and gyro. So we can get uh, linear accelerations in all three directions. We can get the resultant of the acceleration and also rotations. Now going around the cart, on the front, there's the plunger you expect, and it's easy to lock, easy to load. There's the Velcro tabs, and then there are tie points around the cart, so you can tie a string, like if you're gonna do a mass over a pulley, and you wanna pull the cart that way, you can do that. At the top of the cart, there's a mass tray for changing the mass of the system. And then also, this cart you can get in red and also blue, so when, you, when you're doing conservation of momentum experiments, you can tell the two carts apart. There's an internal rechargeable battery, and this cart is of course compatible with all of Pasco's cart accessories. So this really is Pasco's legendary low friction cart reimagined for the modern physics lab. JJ, let's hook it up. Okay, so before we get this guy connected, uh, let's talk a little bit about what came in the box with the cart. So there are four little pieces that came with it, four accessories. One of them is a uh, USB charging cable. So inside the wireless smart cart is a rechargeable battery. Uh, we're gonna keep that guy connected when we're not using it. Um, in addition to that, we've got three accessories that we can mount to the force sensor that's on our wireless smart cart. Two of these here, you'll see they look familiar. They are the same accessories that come with the Pasco Force sensors currently. One is a rubber bumper, and the other is a metal hook. Um, and like I said, uh, all of them can mount to the front of the cart, just like it mounts to the front of our Force sensors. Um, and then a third and a new accessory is a magnetic bumper that we can also mount to that Force sensor, and we can use that magnetic bumper for experiments and collisions or uh, conservation of momentum and stuff like that. So now that we know a little bit about the cart sensors and a little bit about the cart's accessories, let's take a look at how we connect the cart to our software. So the wireless smart cart, the onboard sensors can connect to either SparkView software or Capstone software. Uh, for this purpose, we're gonna be using uh, Pasco Capstone software. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the software on my computer. Brett, you mind firing up one of the smart carts? All right, on this side of the smart cart, there's our power button. There's an accessory port here for optional smart card accessories, and then the USB charging port. Okay, so once the cart's turned on, it starts broadcasting via Bluetooth 4.0 low energy. And that's a, a very useful tool for this purpose because it allows the connection, the Bluetooth connection between the computer and the, the wireless smart card itself to be very simple. Uh, in the software, all we do is we open up our hardware setup window, like you see here. Uh, it lists the devices, the Bluetooth devices here, under that Available Wireless Devices heading. Uh, all you do is just click once, and then it connects via Bluetooth to that wireless smart card. And what's great about this, this is in-app proximity pairing, so you don't need to go through the operating system's Bluetooth settings. It's right in the software. Okay, now you see here there are three sensors. These are those three onboard sensors that Brett was mentioning. Uh, once the wireless smart card is connected, it talks to the software just like any other sensor does. I'm gonna create three graph displays and we're gonna take a look at the position, velocity, and acceleration measurements made by the cart. And now that we got that, I'm just gonna go, go ahead, ahead. Yep, go ahead and click start here and roll that cart over there to Brett. And, and I'm gonna roll it back. Yeah, and uh, as we know the cart, uses a motion encoder, and it can work on a track or off a track, just like this. All right, so that's the introduction to the Pasco Wireless Smart Cart. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information, go to www.pasco.com forward slash smart cart.